This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving me another dueling book dual commentary, and uh, basically, I'm really enjoying like playing on dueling book and singles for the purpose of videos, because I realize that it doesn't make me slave to the ranking system in matches if I play in singles, so there's all that stuff that works better in my favor, because I can play dumb shit in a rated pool, but for singles, and not have it be something that affects my, uh, my match ranking if I'm trying to try hard that and all that sort of stuff. So something uh, something I realized and something I'm really uh, excited about the fact that I get to do. But so what I have access to here is that I decided to spoil you guys today and I'm going to be <laughs> playing uh, this fucking Teller deck again because I mean might as well, all right? Might as well try and uh, do some more things. But so what I have access to here is I can uh, do a search for Altair, or I could just not. Um, I need to. I'm gonna add Vega, right? And I'm going to draw cards with Sukiyomi. Is gonna be the play that I do, the first play. I've got Dark Hole to clear my own Sukiyomi if need be, but I feel like my opponent is gonna clear it for me, so that's not that big of an issue. So I'm gonna normal summon this and use the effect, and try to special summon my uh, my Deneb, and then use its effect to add Altair. I'm gonna add Altair. Okay. Sure. I Sure, I still get the search. Okay, well this works. I still get my search. So now you just went down a card. Alright. Well now that means that I have to literally make this warning go the distance. <laughs> Oops. Um, uh, I still search. Ghost Ogre doesn't stop the search. For the effect from resolving. <laughs> okay. Well then. Um, well, that happened. I didn't think people like that still existed. I thought Ghost Ogre was pretty universally uh, universally understood. But I'm just going to set this one card. I'm going to pass my turn because I've got Altair and a Nuncle High. And I've got a Warning. He's already down a card, so I guess I'm offset from the Tsukiyomi. I was going to discard the, uh, the uh, Nuncle High and the Altair. For the uh, for the Tsukiyomi and draw two more cards. I was gonna have the Dark Hole and the Solemn Warning set, and the reason I added the Altair was so I could draw into. Oh, he's playing Cosmos. What? Okay. Um, upstart. Okay. I'll gain a thousand. Well, I've got Dark Hole, which is good against this. I can also Warning his normal summon. Uh, the only thing I really guess I worry about is if he's playing like the True King variant, but he's also playing zero extra deck cards. All right. <laughs> alright, alright, alright! The things you find in the lower spectrum of the TCG rated pool. Uh, okay. <laughs> alright then. Alrighty then. But so, if he normal summons a monster, I'll just warning it, honestly. I don't think I care particularly too much about preserving the warning for anything. Uh, I definitely don't want to let him banish cards and get them back with Cosmo Town. So, I will just get the pilot into the grave. Who's using town to shuffle these two back, and then he's gonna draw two. The e Telly is at one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure e Telly is at one, so that's like the only real way to bypass his normal summon. Unless he's playing the Fire King variant, but I don't see why he would be if he's playing no extra deck. So that's something to consider. I've got Dark Hole, I've got Warning. I get to normal summon Altair next turn for Deneb. I can make Traver, or I can make Tsukiyomi. Um, oh, he's Kaijuing me. He's giving me this Kaiju. Sure. Okay. Fine. Is he just like afraid of telling over Alpha? Um, I'm I'm okay with this. If this is your only play, I'm okay with this. Uh, this is is that 500? Yes, it is 500. Um, so to grave. So he's playing Kaiju Cosmo. There's no way this is your whole play. That was your whole play. Well, all right then. <laughs> I, I was saving the warning for some spicy nonsense, but I guess we're not going to mess with that. Uh, but so I'll use this MST here on the Cosmojo, okay? Um, I'll activate this Dark Hole just to clear your thing off the board. 
Because I want to start taking other cards out of your hand. I don't want to take the kaiju out of your hand. Um, yeah. But so I can make Dark Teller Nightman and still have the warning. So that's good. Uh, but so I'll use its effect to summon my Deneb back from Grave. And then I'll be able to make the Dark Teller Knight. Uh, Deneb if... Is he going to Ghost Ogre it again? Let's find out. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But So he Ghost Ogre and he took just a minus one. Although it did keep me from making a Tsukiyomi, but at the same time, if he had waited for the Tsukiyomi, he would have gotten that off the board. So that would have been a problem. Uh, so there's, there's some things to be said for either thing happening. So I'll move this up here. I will make the Dark Teller Knight Man, uh, if I can find it. There it is. Dark Teller Knight Blatimus. Uh, Bat Lamas, and I can attack with it, and then I can upgrade. Uh, I can upgrade in the uh, main phase two. That way, if he does have something like another Ghost Ogre, then I'm going to have done damage with it at least, so that Cosmo Town is something that I think he took the wrong amount of damage with Cosmo Town as well. Dark Dark Eclipser is a level nine, and he only took a hundred. But at the same time, I'm not going to sweat the small details. Uh, unless it like comes up and like he's at 100, I'm going to be like, okay, by the way, man. <laughs> uh, but so I'll use its effect uh, to detach. And then, do I detach and discard as a cost? I do. Uh, so I'll discard this. And then I'll make Traver, just so that it's a card that floats and I get to take a card out of his hand. So that's, so that's good. Um, so... Traver F. So this will go to mine hands. Because even if he kaijus this, I get a I get a monster back. And then F again. I'll detach this to take a random card out of his hand. So two, it'll be this one. And if he shuffles his hand, I'm gonna get really upset. Okay, it's Cosmo Forerunner. Uh, so that's fine. And now I just get to set this warning again, and now I just feel fine. Uh, I can't make Diamond because of uh, because of Dark Teller Knight's restriction of I can't exceed summon for the rest of the turn. But at the same time, if this gets Kaiju, it brings back my Vega, which summons Altair, which summons Deneb, which <laughs> oh, okay, um, uh, sure, F. Um, so I'll special I'll special Vega, and then I'll use it to special. Altair, and I'll use it to special <laughs> Deneb, and I'll use it to search an Altair. Going uh, plus three off your opponent's Raigeki. Seems pretty legitimate, right? Only slightly. Uh, th these cards are obviously just very strongly positioned against these cards. So he has a Cosmotown, and he has a Lure of Darkness, which... He could draw cards and try to discard. I think his deck is very lacking in terms of uh, in terms of potential things that it can do, which is unfortunate. But now he has one card. He has no banished Cosmos to add back. Um, town for what? Oh, to shuffle a card out of his hand. Okay, a Forerunner. All right, you're playing more than one. That's interesting. Um, I don't see anyone play more than one of that card recently. Uh, but I mean, I guess I guess it's possible. Uh, what is this? Uh, dark Hole. It still doesn't matter! It still doesn't matter! He says savage. It still doesn't matter! <laughs> I have an Altair and you have no cards! <laughs> Why? Hey, you, even if you drew a card you could summon I have warning. Like This is so lopsided in my favor. I get to discard that Cosmo Town from your hand next turn. With Dark Teller Nightman. He admitted defeat, and now I've got to call the haunted. Trying to tell me savage. I'm so upset. That actually is one of those things that just gets me tilted. When people are like, "Gotcha," and meanwhile I'm like, "No, you don't. You don't have me for shit." Oh my god. But anyway, that has just been an extra little game. This guy's deck was weird. I don't know how I feel about it, but at the same time, hey, whatever. Whatever you want to try, whatever you want to try and flex with. But at the same time, why do you have zero extra deck cards? 
that's one that kind of gets me the most. I don't quite understand. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links as always are in the description to my Facebook fan page and my Patreon page. If you want to support the channel directly as well as get into a contest that I'm starting up at the end of every month, I'm going to be picking a random person from my Patreon supporters list and ship them anywhere in the world 10 packs of the most recent set just to give a little fun incentive to help support the channel as well as potentially get something back for yourself, all that sort of stuff, then definitely go check that out if you are interested. Also, if you want to get access to my private Discord server, the entry into that is only on the $2 reward tier just to make the people that really want to be there the people that are going to be there instead of just keeping it open for every single person that might participate and might be interested in it or not from just joining it and just making it stagnate. Uh, but so there's that if you're interested as well to come in and chat with me and a bunch of other people that are already in the Discord server. So there's that to consider as well. So look into that if you're interested and you want to support the channel and contribute to helping me be able to make content. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching as always. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.